Skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another Chatting Skeletons episode. So this episode is called Haunt at Accelerator. I no longer work at Knott's Berry Farm, so I can talk about this. Holy crap, if you guys are going to work at Knott's Berry Farm, I either recommend only working there during the summer, or picking a good job that doesn't really deal with all of the horrible haunt guests during the haunt season. I was a games attendant last one of the, well, the first time I ever did haunt, and that was such a laid-back job. Being a rides attendant at Accelerator during Haunt was hell. And the first, like, I was so good at this. I worked it to where every time I would end the night, I'd end up in the dispatch room, which was pretty much our safe zone. But, oh my god, we'd end up staying, like, an hour or two past closing, and it was horrible because our line would get super duper long. If you guys don't know what Haunt is, it's technically called Not Scary Farm, which is our Halloween season over at Not Scary Farm. And we do a little bit more extreme than Disneyland, and obviously we don't go as extreme as Universal Studios, so that they do their own thing. But uh, we always have mazes that they can walk through. We have themed areas with monsters roaming around, um, good shows, stuff like that. We used to have Elvira, but, you know, she retired, and we currently, we had The Hanging. I don't know what they're going to replace it with. The Hanging was like a comedy spoof show, whatever, but right now we have Puppet Up in that replaced Elvira, which is super funny. But anyway, so why does Haunt at Accelerator suck? Well, first of all, Accelerator is a very popular ride at Knott's Berry Farm. It's in fact one of the most popular rides at Knott's Berry Farm, but the most popular would have to be Ghost Rider or Hang Time as of right now. Hang Time is our newest ride that I know of. They're making another one where one of our games used to be, but anyway. With Haunt, you get guests that are very, very special. If you're in the mazes, you probably know what I'm talking about. You guys get those special guests every Thursday through Sunday. We don't have it every night. It's only Thursday through Sunday, either 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. or 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. These guests love to drink. Now, unfortunately, Knott's, they do have a limit, I believe, on how many drinks you can have, but some people end up going over the limit. You know, it's just really sad. So you get those drunk people who are just trying to cause problems at um, rides and, you know, games and all of that. But I'd like to share one particular story of why I hated working haunt at Accelerator. And ever since this night, I, had, I only ever worked actually three haunt shifts. I was able to get off with the other ones because they got extra people and I was able to go home. This particular night was my first night ever working haunt at Accelerator. And I was ending in our dispatch room, which was like our control panel. I noticed, and every ride has kind of like their no-go no zones for guests that are extremely dangerous. So one of our no-go zones is underneath the launch track, which is very dangerous if you get, you know, you're under there when the train launches because it's 82 miles an hour in two seconds. So we had these guests who were clearly intoxicated who jumped our fence to get on the <clears throat> ride after closing. So I called security. Security came, I pointed out the guests, everyone was pointing out the guests, and these guests were trying to make off as if they didn't do anything. Well, two guests actually ended up getting on the ride and they ended up cutting in front of everybody, but we were trying to handle the situation and unfortunately couldn't handle it too well. So the guests went on, unfortunately, two of them did. One of the girls got escorted off the ride and after these two came back, they got escorted off the ride. This one gentleman in particular was, again, these people were all clearly intoxicated. This one gentleman looked at the security guard, put his hand on the security guard's shoulder. Security guard pushed it off, and it ensued this whole fist fight. And they had to get, like, four or five, four or five security guards to pin this guy down. Like, I'm kind of looking at this guy like, first of all, you're drunk. How? Why would you go into a park knowingly get drunk knowing you have no way to get home unless you call an uber like you ubered there you're gonna uber back that's smart but if you drove there and now you're drunk there's no way you're gonna get home not to mention drunk or sober i don't think it would be a good idea to pick a fight with a security guard i don't know who in their right mind would ever pick a fight with a security guard like i think you're drunk or sober you know it's gonna end up badly like I know people who are intoxicated, they don't exactly think straight, but at the same time, you'd figure that maybe the slightest common sense would kick in, but I've only ever been drunk a couple of times, and I was able to sober up pretty quick given some situations that occurred after I'd gotten drunk, but again, it's like, 
what do you hope to gain from this? And ever since then, I really hated working haunt at Accelerator. The guests are just super rude. Everyone thinks they're entitled, and I'm just so glad I left. Like, ever since I started working with Disney, I personally, I mean, I only really had one day where I worked on my own. I haven't had a problem yet. And I know with every job, there is always going to be a problem. I know eventually I'll get to that problem in Disneyland, especially because it is Disneyland, and the pass holders are going to pull that card like, well, I'm an annual pass holder, you know, I should be entitled to this. It's like, no, you're all guests here, you know, you're going to get the same treatment as every other guest that comes in. If any of you decide to work at Knott's Berry Farm and you decide to stay through the Halloween season, please be careful of where you work and understand that the people during Haunt are not normal people. They are very rude. They are very horrible people. Like, I had these kids who kept joking around me that they spit in my water cup. And, I mean, I still drank it in front of them, like, saying, like, I don't give a shit, you know. But these kids just kept going, spin your water cup, spin your water cup. So I called security on them and said they were harassing the employees. So hopefully they did something. But, anyways, just be careful about where you work and what happens where you work because some, for some reason, some holidays bring out the worst in people. Like, I remember at Target... You know, the worst was brought out during Christmas. I had one lady curse me out saying I needed to get my shit together because she tried to use her Target credit card as a debit card and it didn't go through. So, anyways, just be careful where you work, guys. You know, we all have those traumatic experiences, but just know what you can and can't handle. And if you can't handle it, you know, even if after a couple of tries, may maybe find something that you know you can handle. All jobs are going to be challenging, but, you know, just try and work through it as best you can. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.